How long does it take to make a hyper-realistic cake? Well, this cake took me six hours, and that one took me 12, and this one here, 38 hours. So now I want to know, can I make a hyper-realistic cake in just one hour? One hour? I don't know if this is even possible. When I use the word hyper-realistic, I mean a cake that is so realistic that you guys think it's the real thing. Like, oh, look at that shoe. That's a nice real shoe. <gasps> Why, you, that's not a shoe at all. Now, I've made hundreds of hyper-realistic cakes, and let me tell you, they take a long time. So only giving myself one hour is quite the challenge. But you know I love a good challenge. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today, I'm going to challenge myself to make a hyper-realistic cake in one hour. The first thing I gotta do is figure out what I'm gonna make. More importantly, what do I think I can make in just an hour? I've already made cakes of a lot of these things. Oh, coconut! Ugh, okay. Uh, oh, geez, I can't reach it. I think I'm gonna make a cake of a coconut. And I think I can pull it off in an hour. Mm, maybe. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's make a coconut cake in an hour. Now let's go over some challenge rules. I am allowed to prep my tools, so I've got everything I need right next to me. I am not allowed to stop the timer for any reason, not even for a bathroom break. And the last rule, I only win this challenge if the cake looks hyper-realistic. Now, how am I gonna gauge if the cake looks hyper-realistic? I need a judge. I could ask husband Dave to judge, but I don't know if that's fair. I feel like his undying love for me will sway his opinion. Oh, Natalie, you're the best. You win this challenge hands down. <laughs> Yeah, right. But still, I don't want the judge to be related to me. Who else can judge? You can be the judge. This is great. At the end of this video, I'll show you the finished cake, and I want you to judge if it's realistic enough to be considered hyper-realistic. This is so fun. All right. It's go time. I gotta get excited. I gotta get pumped. I gotta drink more caffeine. Let's set the timer for one hour. All right, so I've got my coconut here and I know how I'm gonna make those strings. You know, the stringy bits on the coconut. I don't know what they're actually called. I've made similar little hairs on a sweet potato cake once and they look awesome. The only problem is they take a little while to dry and I only got an hour. That's why I'm working on the little hairs first because I'm trying to use my brain and plan this out, kinda. You know, these little hairs are gonna need at least 40 minutes to dry, so I'm cutting it kind of close. But the good news is I don't really need them until the very end. Go, geez, I gotta put them on something. I need some foil. To make the coconut hairs, I'm brushing water with a little bit of food color onto strips of wafer paper. When they dry, the wafer paper will be hard again, leaving me with perfect little coconut hairs that are edible. You know what? I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna try to do multiple hairs at a time. Just gotta brush that water on and they're all sticking together. That did not work. All right, I think I have enough here. It's time to move on. I'm gonna let these dry while I work on the mold. I feel like hand sculpting all that coconut texture will take a really long time. So I'm gonna make a mold of the outside of the coconut. How am I gonna make a mold of this thing? I'm gonna use a bowl for this mold because the coconut fits in there perfectly. Now the problem is if the coconut's touching the bottom of the bowl, the mold is gonna have a hole at the bottom. So I need the coconut to be suspended. Uh, how am I gonna suspend this coconut? Okay, gotta think of something. Wait a minute, what if I use foam board? I'm cutting out a round hole that is a little bit smaller than the width of the coconut. Now I'm gonna place the coconut in the hole. Yes, yes, now I have a gap. I'm totally gonna use this on other cakes. You know, in the heat of the moment, I can't believe I came up with that. I've never done that before. Maybe this quick, stressful, I need to get back to work. Here I have some liquid molding material and I'm melting it down in the microwave. Nice. Now I just gotta place the coconut into the molding material without touching the sides of the bowl and we have a perfect fit. Now I gotta set it aside to cool down. While it cools, I'm gonna melt some chocolate. This coconut is going to have a delicious chocolate shell. I've got some white chocolate, some butterscotch chocolate, because it's got a very nice color, and some semi-sweet chocolate. So now I'm gonna melt this chocolate. This chocolate is distracting because it smells amazing. Now let's see if the molds cooled down. I actually placed the mold in the freezer so that it cooled down really quickly, and it looks like it did. Now I just gotta pop the mold out. 
The mold is stuck to the glass bowl. The coconut's stuck too. I can't get the coconut out. I'm really letting this whole timer thing get to me, but I am not giving up on this. I'm sticking a skewer along the edge of the bowl and then I'm putting some water in there. It's loosening it a bit. It's loosening it a lot. Yes, I got it out. Now I gotta get the coconut out. I'm just like shoving tools in there, scraping the mold off the coconut. It is really on there. This is taking a long time, but I do not want to give up on this. If I don't get this coconut out, I'm gonna have to start all over. <laughs> ah! It popped out. Let's see what the mold looks like. It's, well, it could be worse. It's looking pretty rough, but the texture of a coconut is rough. I'm gonna use it anyway. Now I'm greasing the inside of that same glass bowl and I'm placing the mold back in because the mold's kind of flimsy, so this will help keep its shape. Releasing that mold took way longer than it should have. I thought I'd have a lot more done by this time. I am in a pickle. All I can do is just keep chugging along. Gotta work faster. Now I have to let the chocolate cool. And the good news is I'm gonna put it in the freezer. And the chocolate's thin enough that it should harden pretty fast. I just gotta wait like five minutes. This is like torture. I don't know if there's anything I can do in the meantime. Do you wear clothes or know someone who does? Well, get yourself some more by heading over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com. That's where you can get some Sidesurf Cake Studio clothes. We also have coffee mugs, stickers, beach towels, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link below so you don't get lost on your way to the store. And now back to the cake. Okay, the chocolate's hardened. I can take it out of the mold. <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna look. I'm laughing because I'm like <laughs> frustrated, nervous. I got a lot of emotions right now. And it looks acceptable. I think this can work. We've got our three little holes. All right, now I just gotta make the other side of the coconut. Wait a minute. Okay, so there is no way that I am going to have enough time to make a mold of the other side of the coconut. My plan is to make two halves, fill them with cake, and then put them together to make a whole coconut. But I don't have enough time to make a mold of the other side of the coconut. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna use the same mold. Yeah, it's gonna have three holes on both sides, but I'll just point one side to the back. <laughs> this will work. This is fine. I think this is fine. Now I gotta wait another five minutes for it to chill in the freezer. All right, it's hardened. Let's pop it out of the mold. Just gotta peel the mold away from the chocolate a little bit. Gotta flip it over. <laughs> oh, look how thin the chocolate is here. It's too thin, which made it too fragile, which caused it to crack. I don't have time to make another chocolate shell. I think I'm only gonna be able to make half a coconut. <gasps> Wait, I think I have an idea. I'm breaking this real coconut open. Now I've never done this before, but I've seen people do it on YouTube. All I need is a knife. This is not working. Oh, oh, I felt it. <laughs> there it is, there's the crack. It's working. Oh geez, coconut water everywhere. I actually wanna keep this. I'm gonna put it in a separate bowl. This is like so cool. This is gonna be my thing now. Every time I go to the store, I'm gonna get whole coconuts. And there it is. It's so beautiful. I can't believe I did it. <laughs> How exhilarating. I was worried this wasn't gonna work. Okay, that was really fun. Now back to the cake. I'm really glad I cracked open this coconut. I didn't realize it looked like this on the inside. To make that dark brown wall, I'm filling the inside with dark brown chocolate. I really think that I can make these little coconut chunks faster than trying to make a whole coconut. So I'm really glad I'm doing it this way. It's totally unplanned, but... Now I'm gonna paint the outside of the coconut. I am painting very quickly. I usually like to spend more time on the painting to try to get the colors perfect, but at this point, I'm just going for brown. Coconuts are brown. I, I, I got some different tones in there, but I can't get too crazy with this. Even though I'm rushing, I still think it looks really cool. I'm really glad there's so much texture on the outside so I don't have to be perfect. All right, my little coconut chunks are ready. My three little babies. I'm chopping the edges to try to make it match the real coconut. It's giving me coconut chunk vibes. Vibes. Now I'm just painting the outside and then it's time to work on the white inside. Here I've got some white modeling chocolate and I'm cutting it about a half an inch thick. And I am having a really hard time not getting messy. I got chocolate all over my hands. And when you're working with white modeling chocolate, having brown chocolate on your hands is really bad. I'm placing the white onto the shell, got more smudges. Now I'm cutting around the edge, making everything match up. I just cut towards my hand. Do not do that, never cut towards your hand. <sighs> 
Gotta take a second for safety. I'm adding a little bit of texture with the sculpting tool, but I'm not getting too crazy. Mostly because I'm running out of time, but also it does look pretty simple. It's just like a white, sort of rough surface. You must be wondering where the cake is. Let's work on the cake. I've got my full half a coconut here. Now I just gotta fill it with cake. This I know I can do quickly, <laughs> which is good because I'm really running out of time here. I am like cutting it so close right now. Oh, I need to add the hairs. I got the hairs here. Oh, they're dry. Thank goodness. I'm so happy they're dry. Now I just gotta place them on the coconut shell. In my head, at the beginning of all this, I was gonna be all calm at the end. I'm placing them on perfectly, exactly where I want them. I am just getting them on there at this point. And there you have it, a cake of a coconut made in one hour. I can't believe I finished it in time. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> and now it's time for you to judge. Let me know in the comments. Do you think that this cake passes as hyper-realistic? And now it is time to cut the cake. I am so ready to cut this one. <laughs> Like this video if you think I should do another cake challenge. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I post a brand new cake every week. And I'll see you next week for another cake.